There's still time left to back Crimson Wren. Go to shopclownfish.com. Also check out the new Clownfish Studios pins. Very cool stuff. We just got it in. Help support the channel. Now on with the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. It's time for another daily dose of dismal Disney. Uh, possibly, we're gonna talk about Disney their next animated movie, which most people didn't even know they had another movie. Yeah, coming out. most people have seen the commercial, like, wait, what? Now we knew about it, obviously, because we were on a Disney blog, but um, and it was it had such potential. Yeah, so this is um Strange World, which you know, normally I don't get very excited by trailers for Disney movies. And this one I'm not really excited, but my curiosity was piqued. I like the premise. I, you know, I, I think it it looks different. It looks like they're at least trying to do something new. Right, we keep saying do something new and they were. Right, it's not another sequel, it's not another Frozen movie, it's not, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, is that they're putting it out in the theaters a very, very poor time between two big releases and there are a lot of indications here that they're not going to support this movie very well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, talking about the cuts that they're going to do at Disney, Bob Chapek talked about all the cuts that are coming. I mean, geez, this is coming from uh, PR Daily. They said, Disney's memo is outlining its grim future. I mean, that's that's pretty bad. So well, then say grim future. Normally their Thanksgiving film, which is what this movie is, yeah. is and it's an animated movie, is something they would promote the hell out of. And you've been, it would have been promoted for months. It's like their big deal, but because it falls between Wakanda Forever and um, Avatar Way of Water, they're putting all their efforts into those and they're just literally just stepping over it. Um, it's interesting because I've seen more commercials for Disenchanted mm -hmm. and the Santa Clauses or whatever it's called, the series, than I have for this theatrical release. And I'm kind of thinking that they're like, eh, this so one's... why did they just put it on Disney Plus? That's a damn good question. It, but you, I'll tell you why. Because it's not Pixar. That's true. Um, yeah. If it was Pixar, they'd put it directly to Disney Plus. Well, we'll, we'll talk about that because Pixar has become, for better or for worse, with the exception of Lightyear, which you know, landed with a thud. Um, it has become the kind of the direct to, you know, DVD arm of Disney animation. And look, we've got Chapek out there saying that, you know, he doesn't think adults want to watch animated movies. I get the vibe, you know, listening to him that he does not think much of animation at all. We've got the guy who's in charge of the Walt Disney Company, which pioneered modern mm -hmm. animation basically saying he doesn't seem to think a whole lot about animation. Uh, all he's talking about are their live action movies. Right, he's putting his money where his mouth is because you're not seeing hardly any promotion for this film. Yeah, so let's let's talk about this. This is one of those times we actually agree with a CBR, but it is curious because I honestly thought it was coming out later in the year. Oh, no, no, I knew when it was. So anyway, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, rants, guys. Almost 281,000 subs. Thank you for the support. Um, you know what this movie reminds me of is a game that Squid King and I played on the other channel uh, called Savage Planet, which looks very similar. Mm -hmm. I, can, you know, I can see that, yeah. Style-wise to this, which is kind of why I was interested. It had kind of that Jules Verne you know, vibe to it. And I'm like, okay, this, this is different. This is kind of a different thing. Um, but uh, yeah, it doesn't look like they're going to spend any money to they, And the thing is, it. what gets me is they hired um, actors, that, bigger name actors, to do this stuff. Like... Yeah, I don't, I don't even know who's in it. <laughs> I have yeah, to look it up. I know that Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal's in it. Yeah. I think Dennis Quaid, and I forget who else. But they, they wasn't like, you know, no-name people were hired for this either. So they spent some money. Yeah, so it's coming out the week of Thanksgiving. Uh, it would seemingly be poised to be a huge holiday hit for Disney, despite that the company has barely promoted it. I've seen no, they haven't. two commercials, I think, for it. Maybe two. I've, like I said, I've seen a lot of promotion for Disenchanted. I've seen way more for that. And, and Disney Plus stuff that I have. Yeah, Disney Plus stuff. I've seen I saw more commercials for freaking Pinocchio than I saw for this. Mm -hmm. And this is a theatrical release. So it tells me that they're just like, we know it's gonna be a dud. Uh, or we're gonna just we're not gonna honestly what probably is we will sacrifice this one so we don't take box office from Wakanda and right. we don't take box office from Avatar. Because they're want they're trying to use those to be to beat out uh, Maverick for the top movie and stuff of the year. Now I think overall in the long run they'll probably do better. I don't know if they'll make it by the end of this year, um, but yeah. Yeah. So they said, given the controversies surrounding Disney animated films uh, from earlier in 2022, the mum advertising makes perfect sense. Uh, the Disney Film Corporation was seemingly holding its biggest cards until the end of the year. Of course, they had Black Panther, Avatar, 
Um, they want them to generate more hype than any of the previous 2022 offerings. Given that it's stuck smack dab in the middle, it would seem that Disney isn't putting too much stock in it. Uh, compar- that's sad because they have a diverse cast and everything on this. Like the, the, it's very, it's a diverse movie. Now it's already not going to be playing in some countries probably because there are some, you know, they, they, they're going there with diversity and let's just leave it at that. Um, but they're going to, they're, they're stepping over it. Yeah. Um, I think Disney ain't more with a lot of these movies. They, they were already, they've pretty much given up on like China, you know, completely. Oh, they're yeah. like, yeah, this is not going to play in China. Uh, compared to those two films, the animated movie hasn't received even half the promotion. It hasn't even received, 10 percent of the promotion yeah, it hasn't even not seen it did we see any trail i mean i'm trying to think we went to a theater recently to see and i can't even well we haven't been there for a little bit yet so it, it might oh, be a th- but... we haven't been there for a while i it's just i i'm not seeing any promotion for it. i mean do they have happy meals i see wakanda forever they happy probably meals. do they probably will i mean it's disney so i'm sure they will they've been doing a lot of tie-ins the happy meals i haven't honestly looked into the happy meals lately uh, they say it comes after numerous Disney films have gone straight to the Disney Plus streaming service, mostly Pixar. Yeah, they, um, they, yeah, that's just it. It's not Pixar. If it was Pixar, it would have been there, no question. So among some audiences, this has created the sense that these flicks should be watched at home and not on the big screen. They did talk about the rise of Gru being the only real animated success story of the year. I think actually because I took I took Pinky Boo to go see the rise of Gru, and I think they had a trailer for for this. Did they before the rise know. of Gru? Um. So, yeah, it's one of 2022's uh, most notorious bombs may be the biggest reason Disney is staying silent. Oh, my God. How dare you? How dare you say that Lightyear was a bomb? Well, Lightyear, the (laughs) problem with Lightyear, everybody keeps trying to say everybody didn't go because of that, the the same-sex kiss. It was such a tiny, you know, insignificant, I can't talk today, insignificant part of the film. People didn't go because it didn't feel like Buzz Lightyear it wasn't Tim Allen, and they're like, "What the hell is this? Who's this for?" There is no way in hell that Lightyear was the movie that that uh, prompted Andy in the '90s mm-hmm. to ask for a Buzz Lightyear action figure. You know, it mm-hmm. would have been more like Independence Day, or it would have been more like Star Wars, and that's what it was supposed to be kind of a riff on. And like, let's be honest, they had had that action figure; it would have come with the cat. Yes, it would come so, with the cat. So, so you know what? We know it's a lie. Yeah. So it's just yeah. It was uh, yeah. And I'm sorry. And then they couldn't even bother to get uh, Tim Allen back. Probably, probably for political reasons at the time, because it's Pixar. Now he is doing the Santa Claus thing. So he's that's not- so he could pass the torch. Yes. That's what it's all about. Yes. We know that. Let's push his old ass out of the way and, you know, move on. But um, yeah, so they're saying there are a lot of similarities between Lightyear and um, Strange World. It is. Just, I mean, they're both like, you know, going to be in like this, you know, other planet, otherworldly type thing, space type thing. Um, they do both have like diversities, it, things in it. Yeah. And, you know, they might be looking at this too. Like, hey, remember Treasure Planet? That was really cool and interesting and, you know, airships. and. But it didn't do well either. Theatrically. No, it did not. It was a huge bomb for Disney. I remember Treasure Planet because the first thing I did when I saw it was, wow, it looks a lot like your stuff. There's a story there, but I can't prove it. That's that's the thing with a lot of people that have worked in and around Disney or know people at Disney or whatever. There there are stories, but the way it works is you can never actually prove it. But anyway, I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. May may have may have possibly maybe been inspired by some stuff from years and years ago. That's okay. The movie bombed out won't be associated with it. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. uh, I actually like Treasure Planet. Yeah, I'm I sure did. you I did because your artwork's pretty much in it anyway. I, I did like it. I, I liked it. I thought I thought it was cool to see Disney. I also like you know Titan AE too. So whatever, maybe that was like they had a trend of that. Then they had like those kind of movies. sci-fi. Remember back in the day, like yeah, the '90s and stuff. They kept doing like they had one movie. The, like, the other studio would do one too. Like we had the volcano, and then the you know Ar- you know Armageddon and Deep Impact, and then we had Titan AE and Treasure Planet. Yeah, and, yeah, it's. Uh, and neither one of them did well. So, I mean, well, The Iron Giant honestly didn't do well either. And it's it's one of the best. It's a classic, yeah. It's one of the best 2D movies so, it's ever made. So. I don't know. I mean, it's a bummer because it, this could be a really cool thing because they're doing something new. They're doing something different. They aren't just making another sequel of something else. And because it's not another Toy Story movie, they're just like Even not. Even light year. <laughs> yeah. So they're just they're just like completely not even trying. It actually looks, I mean, look, I, I watched the trailer, the, you know, the one time they had it on and it doesn't look bad. It looks interesting. Visually, it looks interesting. Um, I, I don't know. It's just I, I am getting the vibe that going forward, at least with Bob Chapek in charge, 
that Disney does not care about animation at all. Uh, they care about big blockbusters, Marvel, Star Wars, and that's it. And any innovative animation is going to come from like Netflix with mm-hmm. Klaus. It's going to come. You're just going to get like Frozen 500 from Disney. Frozen 500. Toy Story 20, yeah. 20,000. Yeah. And it's like even Pixar, it's a real shame because they've, well, did they have the other, they announced the Elemental or whatever. Today yeah. Too. They put a trailer up for that today, which everybody's joking because it does, it's like, it's uh, basically. Inside uh, out, isn't it? Well, no, it's more like Zootopia meets. Um, People were comparing it to the 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 game the was it was a fire boy and water girl oh, okay. or whatever and they're like wow it's like when they copy your homework um, but yeah. it, it's it, it's just basically like Zootopia I think but with elemental characters I, I, I kind of get the vibe sometimes they're like hey what's trending on Tumblr let's kind of do that yeah I don't know but I think <laughs> it's, it's like, funny people are calling them out because they're like that looks like something else we saw I don't know how that's gonna do either I mean the thing is there actually are movies that were put out in the last couple of years on certain that were actually very very good movies. Um, we actually gave, you know, believe it or not, for everybody saying we're a bunch of haters, uh, Turning Red. We gave it a good review. We thought, I mean, it didn't, it didn't feel like a Pixar movie, but it was actually objectively, it was a pretty good movie. It was, pretty good. It was enjoyable. And um, that was another one that they just like dumped it on the Disney Plus. And mm-hmm. they're like, here you go. What I've seen of Luca, it actually looked pretty good. And, you know, they're trying some different stuff, but it's like, what's going to happen is this is going to end. They're going to be like, yeah, we had the box office bomb. Let's let's cut back on animation. We're gonna blame on animation. All We're gonna blame yes, shortcomings. Yes, the fact that's that exactly if they had what's gonna dated a Buzz Lightyear movie and hired Tim Allen, it probably would have done well. There are so many ways they could have pulled Lightyear out of the tailspin if you had actually you know done a Lightyear movie like people expected. That was actually kind of like the cartoon. Uh, it actually feels like it could have been the '80s or '90s movie that Andy would have actually watched as a little boy and enjoyed it. So many things it could have done. Yeah, like how you put enjoyed it. As and enjoyed it, idea. not like you got dragged to the theater. But yeah, so anyway, guys, we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.